Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Faz and we are continuing our CSS series. And in this video, we are going to build this beautiful sign up landing page using HTML and CSS. So let's not waste time and get started. So I have already opened VS Code and I have created an index.html file. As you can see, this is the file right here. We also have a style.css file, which is MPT for now. And also in the images folder, I have an image of this icon basically that we are going to use in our sign up landing page. So let's get started with the HTML portion first. So I'm going to quickly open the image of the final product that is this one. And we are going to discuss how we are going to make this uh, page, the sign up page. So what am I going to do is let me just highlight this one for you quickly markup. Okay. So what we're going to do is let us just understand once. Let me just select a different color for the pen. So basically this one is going to be the container. So this entire thing, we will call it a container. Okay. Now this container, we will divide it into two devs. So I'll say something like this. This will be our div one and this will be our div two. Okay, fine. What is going to be next is that we are going to have two divs here. We can say now, basically we will call this div left and let's call this div right. Okay. So we are basically planning how we are going to design this. And then here inside the first div, inside the left div, we are going to have this div, right? Okay. So we will divide this into two divs. First will be a div that will hold this icon and second will be the div that will hold this uh, heading text portion. Similarly, for the right one, what we are going to do is this is going to be a heading tag. This will be a paragraph tag and these two buttons of sign up with Google and sign up with Apple. We will just uh, basically have them in a div and we are going to use, of course, Flexbox and then uh, for a separate div, we are going to have this uh, form element, which will have username and input for it, and then a password label and input for it, and a submit a sign up button. And then we are going to have a paragraph tag for these two. Also, we will have uh, link tags here for the links one. So this is the overview of how we are going to write the HTML and CSS for this one. So let me just close this and I'm back here. now. So we'll start with the HTML and I'm going to write a section element. And for this section element, as we talked about earlier, we're going to have two divs. So I will have two divs and the first div will have a class of left and the second div will have a class of right. Now, first we're going to design this left page. As we talked earlier, this left side of the page we are going to design and that has this icon, this blue color and some heading text. So inside our left div, the first thing is, as I told you earlier, we are going to have two divs here. So the first div is going to be for our icon. So I'll give it a class of icon as well. And in this, we are going to have an image element. And for the source, the source is going to be images. And inside images, we have this icon.png. For the alternate tag, we can write icon here. And then we are going to have a second div here. And let's give it a class of banner heading. And we can have any text here. Let me just copy paste the text quickly. We are going to have a paragraph tag and inside we will have this text. And let me save it. And I'm going to start my server. To start the server, I'll just click on go live. So here our website is live. As you can see, we have this icon and some text. Now let's go back to VS code to continue writing our HTML. Now next up, we are going to design our right side of the page. Now, firstly, inside right side, we are going to have a heading. So I'll write a H1 tag and the text will be get started. Now, next up, we're going to have a paragraph tag. And for the paragraph tag, let me just quickly bring the text something like this enter your credentials to access your account uh, next up after this is we are going to have a div all right for our social media buttons so i'll write div and give it a class of social buttons and inside social buttons we are going to have two button elements so let me just copy paste now i'm going to give them a class of button so that we can target them easily later on using css now the first button will have a text of sign up with 
Google and the second button will have the same text of sign up with sorry sign up with Apple okay right so after this div we are going to we are going to have a form right so I'll write another div and I'll give this inside this div I will have a form element and inside the form element we don't need this action attribute that is used for backend if we submit the form we're only creating the front end right now inside this form element we are going to have some labels and inputs so firstly I'm going to start with the first label and this one is going to be user name and then we are going to need a input for this so the input will be of type text so a shortcut here is input and then text hit enter and as you can see we have an input of type text right and we don't need this name but we'll be needing this id attribute here because this will link this input with this label so for this uh, username label I'm in the for attribute I will write something like username and the same text should be used in the input so for the ID as well I'll write this username this will link this label and input element together okay after this we can have something more for example we will have a placeholder and we can have any email there something like this Let me just close this explorer okay so this is going to be our first input and then uh, for the password we are going to have a second input one so i will give it a for password and here we are going to write password and for this we will have an input that will be of type password itself hit enter and we have this one as well and the id will be same as the label that is password and placeholder can also be there and we can have some starts as placeholder now after this placeholder what we can do is we need a submit button so i will create a button and this button uh, is going to be of type submit all right and we are going to write here something like sign up and we can also give it a class so i will give this button a class of btn so that i can target this button as well as these buttons right here all right what is next after this form what we are going to do is we need some more elements so after this form i'll write a paragraph element and the text will be by signing up you agree to our terms of services and privacy policy will be needing another paragraph tag as well or we can use the link tag directly here and we don't need any hrf href for that one so it will be have an account question mark and then sign in so let me just save it quickly so let's go to browser to check and as you can see we have all these elements right here now it's time to design this so let's go back to visual studio code and i'm going to open my style.css right here side by side so that basically we can see and edit our elements accordingly let me close the explorer that will be enough for this video in the next video, we will continue designing our sign up page using CSS. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.